Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and kept the title here for the repeat in 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Today I'm showing this 2009 Subaru Impreza Anasys Edition that just came in. It's got 53,000 kilometers on it, which is only 33,000 miles. That is it. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on the lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get your sofa driver's licenses, there are benefits to doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Super Impreza Anis Edition is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be, seven, uh, I'm sorry, 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame, so we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about that till next April or May. Now, you do have to, uh, two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, it was uh, two things I want to show you. The first one being the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is, is going to be that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to keep that dash as cool as possible in, the, in this heat. So in addition to that, you may want to consider buying a dash cover. Or if you want to keep it simple, get yourself a larger size bath towel or beach towel and put that across. The second thing is it does have the slots here if you want to put roof racks or crossbars. Very easy to do. So with that, let's jump on in. Like I said, it's just going to be a little dirty, but it's actually pretty clean. All right, keep it. Or actually, let me backtrack. So if it has these plates on here, you want to keep these plates in a uh, safe place. Because they're going to help you replace these key fobs if you lose them. Don't lose them. These are expensive. Foot on the brake. Uh, it is a push start. You're going to push that one time, and it goes. Okay, let's sneak this in here. Ooh, let's turn off the radio. Sorry, Troy. 53,076 on the odometer. Let's show you a couple of warning lights. We'll start off with that one. That one right there is the blue one is your uh, temperature gauge. So it's gonna be blue when the engine's cool and it's gonna remain on. That's normal. It's gonna go away when the engine warms up. That's normal. And then it's gonna be red if it's overheating. That's not normal. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, this one up here is your emergency brake. This one's a hand brake. So when you disengage, it goes away. Engage, it comes right back on. Uh, there is an eco button. If you want to save a little bit of gas, I'll tell you where that is. And then uh, the the fuel light. Obviously, it just came in, so we need to put some fuel in there. And of course, your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, especially if it's red, please pull over immediately, find out what it is, take necessary action. On top of the dash here, you have a little display. It's going to show you the outside temperature and the time. You have your uh, radio. This one does not have a rear camera. Air conditioning controls, power outlet, little tray here for coins or whatnot. Your shifter, here's that eco button, so right in the middle there, that green one, that's where it is, okay? The handbrake, as I told you about, cup holders, and a little center armrest slash console that's going to give you a little extra space. Continuing to the left, you have your glove box, then a little bit of uh, storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there, you got your red bro flare hanging out, and this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down, I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I'm pretty good right where I am, or I can maybe slide it up an inch to still be comfortable driving. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Now, normally this is the time I showed an auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. 
But because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side, so you can see that for yourself. We'll help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers out here that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. And naturally, if you want to look at the auction sheet before it's been detailed, just ask and we'll go run inside and get that to show you. All right, let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. Let's open up the door here. So underneath the uh, push start, you do have this uh, knob here that's going to control the illumination of your dash. So you're not going to be able to see it now since it is kind of bright out here. Uh, you got your mirror controls. This guy hanging out right there, that's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. Works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. Then all the way back here, you have your uh, hood release. On the door panel, or on, on the floor here, you have your trunk release. And please don't forget, you have your gas cover release right there. On the door panel, you have your door, uh, door lock and window controls right here. To turn it off, your foot does not have to be on a brake. You're just going to push this one time, and it turns off. Let's go to the back here. Alrighty. All righty. So the seat all the way back, all the way down about a half inch away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but yeah, pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. Then this one does have a center armrest that comes down, stays level, which I like. All righty. Let's head to the trunk area. Here's your rear trunk. Pretty nice space. Now let's go to the front, show the engine compartment. I'm gonna wrap this video up. And there you have it. This is a 1.5 liter boxer engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. And there you have it. 2009 Subaru Impreza Anasys Edition. 53,000 kilometers on it, which again is only 33,000 miles. That is it. Military price is on 5,200. With additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,000 flat. Again, while you're here, please ask the information you got about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5,000 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement. Whether you go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop, I will explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny's Used Cars to show we have what our program is all about and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Specific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash out rate, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.